Hello and welcome to this very short presentation of how I am using Padlets in my teaching. Padlets is a very, I think, cool way of sharing a board that you can structure as a teacher. So, um, and then the students can provide inputs and you can create discussions on the board depending all on how you set it up. So um, this is a very typical way that I would be using it. Um, I have been using this in an in-classroom setting, but it also works fine uh, in an in an online setting. So here I am asking different questions that I want the students to work on. I am in this case asking the students to work in group that could also be independently and then they come up with answers to my questions. So in this case, a question is what kind of traffic anomalies are associated with malware propagation attempts. Um, then the students are coming with different replies and they can they type it in from their computer or from their device and then it always comes up on the on the joint screen that everyone can see. Uh, and then the way I've been using it here was actually that I used it for discussions in the classroom. But depending on how you organize it, you can even have students uh, commenting here. So uh, I can write a comment, my another comment here. Uh, so this is what it looks from a from a teacher point of view. Um, I can of course add more um, parts to the column. But I can also add more columns, so I could add yet another question, for example. Um, and I can save it, and then the students can reply. Uh, what I put here, on the other hand, is a student point of view. So yeah, you already see that my question here uh, uh, appeared. Uh, here in this version, I didn't log in. So uh, the students just get a link, and then they can then they can contribute. Of course, you can also be more conservative with the uh, wood protection who has a, who have access. But I have never experienced that anyone was hacking my Padlet session. Um, but here, um, yeah, students can add replies. As a student, I cannot add another column. So really, the structure you can say is defined by the teacher, but the input is then provided by the students. And you have different ways of sharing, layout, and so on. There is also a large number of different ways of creating the Padlets. So what I'm usually using is um, is the wall and the shelf. Uh, the shelf, I think, was the one I demonstrated for you just here, where you have the series of uh, columns. Um, you can make a bed channel, which is more like a chat. Uh, you can make a stream where everything goes uh, top to bottom. Uh, you can make a canvas where content is connected in different ways. Uh, so there are and timelines and maps and so on. So there are many different ways that you can work on it. Uh, so you can provide different kind of structures that fits with exactly what you want to do in your teaching. Padlet is actually free to use, but if you start to use it more, and you get more, um, and you have create more padlets, then uh, you also have to pay a little bit. One of the things I also really like about Padlet is that you can export it. So when I have, let's say, I have something here, um, then this was a short one, just random. Uh, when you have uh, a Padlet and you want to print it, uh, you can just uh, print it and you can store it in a PDF and then you can share it in Moodle uh, so it's not lost. Or you can you can simply share the, you can lock the, the board of course and also share it like that. But I like to share it in PDFs because then I feel that then it's saved for, for always. So you can easily document the work that was done in the class. So um, you don't have to make photos or uh, write any additional things down. I think that was the main part of my presentation. Uh, if you uh, register, then there is a solution for universities. I think it's called Backpack Solution. But when you uh, somewhere in the sign up process, I think, or uh, when you uh, buy a subscription, then you can register as a Backpack user and then it becomes uh, cheaper and gives you a bit more functionality. So that was my presentation for, from Padlet. If you have any questions about it, uh, you are more than welcome to contact me. I'm really sorry I couldn't be at the workshop uh, today, but I hope that you enjoyed and I wish you a nice weekend afterwards.